Hello, everyone. My name is Jacob Walkie. I'm Sydney Edwards. And we also had Alicia uh, in our group. And I'm John Mason. And our title or topic of our semester was hypothermia in sheep, uh, and that being group four. So we'll go ahead and get started here. Okay, so defining hypothermia, um, it's a condition that occurs when your body loses heat at an extremely rapid pace. So the body can't generate enough heat, which causes a dangerously low body temperature, and it's caused by excessive exposure to low environmental temperatures. So when these lambs get caught um, in cold weather, uh, when they're instantly born, their body temperature is going to drop extremely, and you know it causes hypothermia. All right, next slide. Oh, um, so the hypothermia etiology uh, is common in newborn lambs. Uh, it's caused when body temperatures decrease to below normal, and it is not a zoonotic disease. All right. So why, why does hypoth hypothermia specifically affect newborn lambs? It typically occurs due to starvation and extremely low environmental temperatures. So if a lamb isn't getting sufficient nutrients, then that's gonna, it's body temperature, that's gonna be a critical factor in survival. Um, so when they're born, they possess limited energy reserves and a large surface area to body weight ratio. And so that that is the reason that they're so susceptible to losing weight so fast or uh, losing body temperature so fast. And that's why hypothermia can really be a problem. And uh, it's, it goes hand in hand with hypoglycemia when the hypoglycemia is low blood sugar. And um, it's just the glucose levels in, in the blood is not, not enough to sustain these newborns. So um, they obtain the glucose from colostrum at birth following birth. All right, Alicia, you're up next. So why does hyperthermia occur? So basically the most commonly, like it occurs due to uh, during the winter months when it's cold and when environmental temperatures are decreased. And it occurs if a ewe has a difficult or a premature birth. And it can also occur due to poor mothering. So it does not lick the lamb dry or it abandons. And if the ewe has a poor body condition score, it also leads to a lack of adequate nutrition. Next slide. So Going in depth regarding the body condition score, or otherwise known as BCS, um, it's basically a simple and accurate method of estimating the condition and nutritional well-being of the flock um, and in every individual ewe, in which you can assess the amount of muscle and fat on each specific animal and covering those backbones and ribs. Um, in this scenario, you can have a scoring scale, one of which you can score each of an individual lamb. And that goes from one to five, one being extremely thin all the way to five being obese. Ideally, you want a three, maybe close to four, uh, but never a full four or a five. In that case, you have a problem. Uh, but also, like I said, that was on the higher side. Um, optimal by majority of herders are two and a half to three and a half, staying on that thinner side to the average. All right, so could hypothermia potentially be fatal? So it is basically the primary cause of mortality in young lambs, um, mostly because it comes on so quick and uh, you know these lambs have nothing to help them fight it besides their mom's warmth. And um, when they get the hypothermia, they um, are unable to drink any milk or anything. So they pretty much just wither away within a matter of hours. OK, 
cases. And then, yeah. Sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Um, so some of the diagnosis and clinical signs is uh, is usually exhibited for, from a flock or a single lamb. And if one exhibits a certain sign, then it's most likely that more are experiencing similar signs of hyperthermia. And most of the common signs include shivering, um, seeking shelter, apparent weakness, um, gaunt or hunched, huddling together, possessing a cold mouth and ears, additionally um, shallow breath to um, reduce heat loss. And basically it's crucial to like consistently monitor the used temperature and to ensure that it's like maintained between 39 to like uh, 40 degrees Celsius. Um, anything below, anything below that uh, optimal temperature is when clinical signs begin to like um, display. And that's when like drastic measures should be rapidly implemented. And just a quick note before moving on also, this is uh, an occurrence in any species, uh, not just lambs. Majority of the clinical signs are proven, um, whether it be um, a herd of cattle, uh, an equine, or you know goats, sheep, anything. Uh, so no matter what species one may be interested in, these are all definitely clinical signs that one needs to keep an eye out for. And John will go ahead and take over next here. So there are a few uh, methods for treatment and a few methods for prevention. Um, so in terms of treatment, make sure uh, shepherds need to make sure that instantly the lamb is as warm as possible. Um, in most cases of hypothermia, lambs will try to not nurse at all. So it's best to tube the lamb with the mother's colostrum right away. So that's just making sure we get that, that passive immunity up, you know, as soon as possible to help with, um, you know, less than ideal conditions for newborns. And then prevention, you know, that's that's a really good way of just making sure that um, you don't have to deal with hypothermia and hypothermia death rates in general. So keep the upcoming due date um, for ewes on a, and make sure ewes are in a warm enclosed space. And it really comes down to how close of attention a shepherd will pay to his flock. And so proper record keeping, that's a very important part of, um, you know, this industry and making sure that breeding and lambing dates for these pregnant ewes, there, you know, you have a good eye on them and you you understand when you need to make these conditions happen. And then further treatments and preventions, um, it's essential to provide sources that could rapidly increase that body temperature, um, no matter where, where you're at or what the condition of that animal may be and what clinical signs are showing. That's going to be your overall first step. Um, examples would be the heated blanket, a warming box. Um, one warming box would be a woolly warmer, as shown in the earlier slides, putting that box around and getting that body temperature of that animal up as high as possible. Or a heating pad, um, or simply by feeding colostrum by a stomach tube, one of which that if you're going to go ahead and feed that colostrum, it's also suggested that you're still getting that body temperature up with a heated blanket or warming box or just a simple body heat from the, any human around, um, all of which provide optimal nutrition um, due to that cold weather increasing nutritional needs. Um, whether that lamb wasn't properly taken care of by the mother when first uh, born, or whether it's just the condition outside, you know, it's snowing, it's raining outside, the animal's just not getting that proper health and starting to fall into hypother hypothermia, you're going to want to try to pr provide any of these uh, options to go ahead and keep that animal alive and keep your herd healthy. All right, so how common is hypothermia in sheep? So it accounts for approximately 5% of the lamb's death. And uh, this is a reference from one of our cited sources. Um, also, if a lamb is exposed to hypothermia inducing climates, the chance of death increases up to 50%. Um, effects of the disease. So basically, uh, it could significantly um, affect uh, financial costs because the treatment can potentially be expensive in some ways. And uh, it can also um, increase mortality rates or like the deaths, which is a significant decrease in profit and also uh, productivity. 
And yeah. So in conclusion, hypothermia is a potentially fatal and common disease for young lambs. It is the result of young lambs overly exposed to harsh and cold weather conditions. Although it is not zoonotic or contagious disease, it still accounts for a large number of annual lamb deaths per year. And um, taking the necessary precautions of ensuring ideal conditions for newborn lambs and generating a plan to treat potentially hypothermic lambs is an essential factor for producers. And lastly, we just had our references here. So if anyone's curious to where we're getting this information from, as well as our author contribution showcasing what everyone did, team effort to get this done, and we're all uh, excited to present this. Thank you and have a wonderful day.